This is a fan generated show. If you would like to support us, please go to jamieglazoff.com and also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And make sure to order Jamie Glazov's new critically acclaimed jihadist psychopath. How he is charming, seducing, and devouring us. All your support is greatly appreciated. This is the Hague Stuhag moment, brought to you by the Glasov Gang. I'm a Norwegian journalist and information director in the political think tank on immigration issues, human rights services. I am also the author of the bestseller, Islam, Europe Invaded, America Want. The last months, I have traveled several times to our neighbor countries, Sweden and Denmark, to meet the most secluded advocates of freedom of speech. They are placed in private prisons by the authorities. The most famous one is Kurt Westergaard, 84 years old. Westergaard created a cartoon of a terrorist in 2005. This cartoon became the most contentious of the 12 cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad published by the Danish newspaper Jyllandsposten, which was met with strong reactions from Muslims worldwide including in Western countries. Both Danish and Norwegian embassies in the Middle East and Pakistan were attacked and set on fire. Over a hundred people were killed in these violent riots. Vestergo cannot live one more day in freedom for the rest of his life. And when he's leaving the house for a mission, it's behind black windows of the car belonging to the security forces. The authorities have even built a police station in the extension of Vestergo's living room, manned 24 seven, to try to make sure that he one day dies of age, not a bullet or a knife because two times terrorists have tried to kill the old man. Despite the fact that Vestergaard cannot live one more day in freedom, he tells us that he doesn't regret the cartoon. The next man we meet is a Swedish artist and art professor, Lars Wilks, 72 years old. He is hidden somewhere in the forests in south of Sweden. We are not allowed to see his home due to security reasons. So we have an appointment with him at his publisher's house in the Danish capital, Copenhagen. Wilkes is brought to us like a package by security forces. So what happened? In 2007, someone destroyed a piece of art, a sculpture of a dog in a roundabout. This created a popular action. People made their own dogs and placed them in roundabouts all over Sweden. Wilkes also made a roundabout dog, inspired by the cartoon crisis the previous year. He thought that the media and the Muslim world was tired after all the fuss and violence in 2006. 
Wilkes admits that he didn't know anything about Islam before the threats exploded and Al-Qaeda put a bounty on his head. $100,000 to the one who kills him and $150,000 if Wilkes is slaughtered like a lamb. One who wanted to kill him was the American citizen and convert Colleen LaRose using the nickname Jihad Jane. She didn't succeed on her journey in Europe. And in 2014, she was convicted to 10 years of prison. The year after, in 2015, Wilkes was the main person under a debate meeting in Copenhagen when the terrorist Omar El Hussein attacked with automatic weapon and killed one participant. The third man I visit is a Danish former news editor and author of several books on Islam, Lars Hedegaard, 77 years old. He is one of the most important thinkers in Scandinavia. He has been labelled as controversial by the mainstream media and political left side. In 2013, a guy disguised as a postman delivered a package on Hedegaard's door. The package was empty, but the pistol in his hand was loaded with bullets. He managed to miss Hedegaard's head at very close range. After the terror attack, Hedegaard cannot live one more day in freedom. You have seen three men in prison in their own homes. Three men who have sacrificed their freedom to give all of us what we take for granted. Freedom of speech. Please support the Glasgow gang at jamieglasgow.com and make sure you are subscribed to this Glasgow gang YouTube channel.